Richard Krause. Well, I think it's interesting how you can uh, be very biographical in songs, and people go, oh, it's just a song. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, it's, it's a, it's a four-minute pop song. You can hide a lot in songs, yeah. but you can in, in a biogra- autobiography. Yeah, yeah. Did spending uh, 30 years, how long has it been, 40 years writing songs, um, it, it has that, did that prepare you in a lot of ways to, to deal with the writing of this book? No, not really, because it's a different discipline writing right. songs, because you've got the whole rhyming structure, which creates ideas that wouldn't normally come up. You know, you're looking for a rhyming word, and suddenly this whole line comes into your head that you wouldn't have thought of if you were just writing prose. Right, because you have a, 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 because of the word choice that yeah, you have to make. A discipline, uh, the, 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 the tight discipline of a rhyming structure and, and the melody is only certain syllables creates a whole different thing. Than just write, you know. This almost feels like freeform writing to me, you know. Um, so uh, I actually felt uh, free, freer. Yeah. Uh, uh, often these books, the way that they are structured, and I know, you know, we, we've sort of moved past that. But often I, I have found that, you know, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll stuff happens early on in the career, and then there's a there's a chapter the head. The, 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 moment, yeah. Right? There's the crash and burn moment, and then you move beyond that. In this book. It, there seem to be epiphanies all the way through. Things happen, there are high points, there are low points, uh, you know, low points followed by very high points, but I was really taken by the end of the book, because normally in these kind of books, by the time you reach the end, there are people that are born-again Christians, or they're in rehab, or they're what, and that's when my eyes start to glaze over, and you've, you, know, you, right. skip, you, you skip through it a little faster. And in this book, I have to tell you, the, the, the chapter about Sahara, even though we, we, we meet her just briefly, mm-hmm a chapter or two before that. The chapter about Sahara made me tear up as I was reading it. And the story of your son falling out the, the screen door yeah. and the story of the woman in Vegas. I thought, this this is uh, uh, the end of one of these books that just never happens in this kind of autobiography. Um, tell me a little, a little bit about, you know, uh, do you think, and I guess the question is, I mean, your life seems as dramatic now <laughs> as it was when you were struggling to be known and then maybe in some of the sort of down periods. Do you feel that way, yeah, or is it just my take from No, right no, I do, I do feel my life is, is, I don't, I never feel at peace. I never feel like I've reached a, a pinnacle of, uh, you know, I, I've, I've beaten the demons. I, you know, first of all, the depression will, will be, like I say, will be with me for the rest of my life. Right. The darkness. The darkness, right. And, uh, and I'm very passionate, I'm very driven, and still very hungry. For, like, I'm as hungry as I was when I was, uh, you know, before I made it. I mean, I, which is why I'm writing, you know, this, prose. I mean, I want to get into a whole other area now. And, and I love all that. I love, to, I love to tour. I'm passionate about touring because that's my connection with people. Um, and uh, I think I think a lot of it is because I wrote this and didn't talk it into a tape recorder and then have a writer write it that it I know all, I, and as I go along yeah. and, you know and I, I think I have a certain uh, a certain understanding of of the way a story should flow you know I've read all my life read 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 all my life and so you know I mean I know which points to hit on and which to kind of right. just write a couple of sentences about and I you know when we first started I did have a ghostwriter when we did the preparation for to sell the book right. and I told her the story and and she wrote up a, a, a chapter you know and I looked at it and I went this could be anybody's life right. you know it started out with the uh, the bar was, you know, wasn't even half full as I got up and picked up my guitar to play, you know, in this restaurant. And I'm going, this, this, this is, this is not me. This could be anybody. So that, uh, and I think that happens with a lot of autobiographies. And and 
But, see, but it's the honesty, I think, in this one. I, you know, if you talk about, let, let's just take that scene for a second. I think it was in Glendale. You're playing in a restaurant. Right. And uh, there's, the, there's the bit in the book where a woman comes to you and says, hey, you're Rick Springfield. And right. you're like, yeah, I am, you know. And, and she's like, didn't you used to be somebody or whatever the line was? Right, right, right. And, you know, again, that's uh, – and the, the way you write about that is – it struck me as, as so true, you know, someone who had sort of just tasted it a little bit at mm -hmm. that point. And then, you know, you never hear about what happens on the other side of right, that right. when you have to deal with the people that look at you funny because you're taking public transportation and you're right, not driving exactly. a Bentley. And right. there's a line in there where I say, what, what am I supposed to do? You know, go bag groceries at yeah. Ralph's and say, you know, hey, honey, isn't that Rick Springfield bagging our yeah, melons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, there is, and I have a couple of friends who have... Uh, Who've gone through a certain amount of fame and uh, yeah, well, uh, what's the guy who's um, oh, the name is escaping me now? Uh, who had the Bentley or the Rolls Royce or something and had oh, to give it back? Oh yeah, yeah, from uh, from Player, yeah, yeah, Peter, yeah, 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 yeah. But but him, not not him so much. It's 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 more actors because they have so much people recognize them because that's how they, you yeah. know. I have an actor friend who. Who got frustrated at one point? We just—he wasn't working, but he was well enough, well enough known to be, you know, people would like occasionally turn in the street and go, "Hey, that's." So you can't get a regular yeah, job. So, so what yeah. do I do? What, what what am I supposed to do now? Go yeah. bag groceries? Yeah. Am I, you know, wh where do I go from here? And there is that moment, I think, in every, in in not in everyone's life because a lot of people hit it and then yeah. go and you you, you know. But certainly there was in mine with the whole 70s thing where I had one hit. I was in a slew of magazines, and I think I was the first Paris Hilton where where kids would come up to me because I was in all these magazines and ask for my autograph, but not really have a real clear idea of what I did. Right. They didn't yeah. know if I, maybe I was an actor, maybe was I a singer, right. was I on some TV show they hadn't seen, you yeah. know? I just recognize the space. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You're Rick Springfield. And, and you know, again, I, the, the, the letter from the kids saying, can't wait to come to... Hollywood and see your mansion, you know, yeah, yeah. and I was raiding my goofy piggy bank for hungry men <laughs> dinners. It's kind of, uh, that can be really freaking soul destroying yeah. unless, you know, I, I had a vision and I knew that something would happen eventually. And I think it was my drive and persistence that, that helped me not to give up. Yeah. I think it's all about patience. I think it's all about sticking it out, and the people, the people that stick it out, yeah. you know, knock wood, they're the ones that make it. Yeah, Everyone exactly. gives up too early. A lot of, it's a lot of tal more talented people than I am who, who stopped and are, you know, yeah. by, uh, st stay by the roadside. You yeah. know. Richard Krause.